Hi guys, my name is Anais. Um, I'm the art director this summer and I'm gonna be doing a virtual art activity with you guys today. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, we're gonna be doing some acrylic pours. This is an example I did on Island about a week ago. Um, I used purple, white, and green. And as you can see, um, it all like morphs together to create like a really nice picture. I have one more example here. Got a bit messed up, but as you can see, um, there's a variety of like options that can come out of this and it's a super quick, super easy activity. And yeah, we're gonna get right into it. So all you need for this activity is at least one paintbrush. Um, and if you're picking three colors, uh, do three cups. If you're picking two colors, do two cups, uh, vice versa. I'm going to be doing four colors. I'm picking orange, purple, blue, and pink. And all you need to do is have four cups and some water as well. I may not have my water and hopefully this will still work out. So you need to start by just pouring a bit of the paint into the cup, making sure not to mix the colors. So I'm just going to dedicate this cup to only purple. And you just literally pour it in. And I actually don't need water. Um, we just use the water to make the paint more loose and easier to like move around and create the image um, but these are actually paint pouring paints meaning they already come super uh, liquidy and um, it's kind of just for having a regular acrylic paint i know most of you have regular acrylic paint at home if that is the case and you can tell that it is a bit thicker um, you can definitely go ahead and add some water to it and it should make it oh wow not very pleasant it should make it a lot easier to mix. I would note um, that when you're doing activities like this where you're mixing colors, um, like similar to like acrylic pores and tie-dye, you don't wanna put colors that are across uh, the color wheel together um, because they will kind of just mix all the way and you'll kind of just come out with the brown. Um, but yeah, that's it. As you can see, I'm just dedicating each cup to a specific color and just setting that cup down wherever that may be hopefully that doesn't spill everywhere and this is my last color got a nice pink going not too pleasant sound maybe i'll open this up for you guys there we go and yeah that's that okay not too much pink left noted i have basically nothing so your setup should look something like this. You guys should have a canvas board ready. Um, you guys can reuse any canvases you want to get rid of. Um, I did repurpose those two examples I showed you uh, from the art shed, some stuff that we weren't using. Um, and so you should have four different colors in the cup. I have pink, purple, orange, and teal. And once you do have all of those colors in one cup, you're just gonna pour every single drop into any of the cups. It doesn't matter which. I'm gonna choose the pink because there's not much pink to it. So all I'm gonna do is take all my colors and pour it directly in the center of the color. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So as you can see, I'm literally just pouring my paint in. Oh no, it's about to rain. So pour all your paint in one cup. Do it fast. If there's a storm coming on your side, there is a thunderstorm coming. Maybe you should plan better. But we're gonna move fast, we're gonna move fast. This is the last color. Oh, doesn't wanna come out. That's all right. We won't have too much orange in here. So your cup should look something like this. You should have uh, several colors in here all mixed together. Once you do have that, you're gonna take your canvas, put it on top, and you're gonna flip it over. Um, I would recommend doing this outside or somewhere where you're not afraid to get too messy and you just pour all the paint on. I think I may have had too much purple, so this might have to be a redo, um, but you're basically just trying to move around the canvas like this and there should literally be paint falling off your canvas right now. And you're just moving it all the way around until you have a desired color or shape that you are satisfied with make sure you're holding the canvas 
upright until it actually is completely filled. And yes, mine does not look like much. I do understand that. However, this is an activity where you can really play around with it. And if something doesn't come out the way you'd like, you can always just go over it, like I said before. So I'm just gonna finish this one up. And if I decided to go over it, I will. Yeah, too much purple, guys. Don't be like me, don't put too much purple. It'll take all of your canvas. Um, but if you do have extra colors, you can quite literally just pour them onto the canvas and just get crazy with it, honestly. That's what I'm about to do. This is a freestyle. All right, guys, I'm just... So right now I'm just pouring some random colors onto my canvases uh, where there is no more color just to brighten up the canvas. I think that should be okay. So now we have a pop of teal right here in the middle. Let's see where that takes us. Oh wow, very interesting. Ooh. So yeah, these are gonna look like very different. So if you guys are in the same household doing this together with a sibling or a cousin or a friend, um, just know that everyone is gonna be individualized and that's the best part of art, honestly. Um, you just get to be creative and just do your own thing. Um, don't have too much expectations. If you guys are doing this on a table, um, when you do drop all the paint on the floor, you can actually use all the debris and all the extra paint that's going on the floor or on the table. And you can just lay your canvas flat on that and you'll be able to use um, that pour as an extra um, paint access. So just doing my finishing touches over here. Oh, drop my painting. That's okay. That's all right. This is actually looking a lot better than, you know, I anticipated. So I'm actually really proud of this one. I'm just doing my best to, with my fingers, fill out the corners. And again, I did get a little bit on my chair, so I'm just gonna literally just put my canvas on my chair and Make do the extra space. If you guys are afraid of getting dirty, I would recommend um, wearing some clothes that you don't necessarily care about. Probably should have said that earlier. I'm saying it now. Um, so for the white spaces in your canvas, like here, you can literally just go over with your finger and just fill in the rest, um, which is what I'm doing now. Sometimes these come out looking marbly. Sometimes they come out looking like outer space. Um, I actually didn't end up using my paintbrush because I just put everything into one cup and I didn't have to mix it with water. But if you do have to mix it with water, you will be using your paintbrush after each um, paint goes into the cup. You'll be adding a little bit of water and just mixing it in, making sure to clean off the brush before you switch to another cup just so you don't, you know, turn everything brown. I'm just doing some finishing touches with my paintbrush and honestly, I am pleasantly surprised um, I think I really did the damn thing on this one. So just adding some swirls in my paintbrush, you know, just something light. Maybe a little bit of a swirl over here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that will suffice for sure. All right. So this is my finished product. Hold the applause. Ooh, ah, ooh, beauty. Okay, look at that. So as you can see at the top corner right there, uh, down here I used my paintbrush. I made some little swivels, so the same thing up here. Um, and yeah, this is my finished product. I'm super proud of it. Um, I love that it's a lot different from my other ones. My other ones came out a bit more marbly, um, but I would advise you guys just to be extra careful. Um, I have pretty heavy hands and I, may have overdone it with the purple a little bit um so just make sure to put a little bit of each color in each cup just so you know it's not too overwhelming um i hope this presentation oh fly i hope this presentation wasn't too fast for you guys if at any point you guys need to go back you guys can pause the video replay let us know like share comment we just really uh grateful to have you guys here even though you guys aren't on island necessarily 
um, just from the bottom of my heart. And I can speak for everyone at CHB. We're super happy to still be serving you guys. And we do this for you guys. So I hope to see you guys next summer. All right, guys. And I out.